In this video, we're going to take a look at solving multi-step inequalities. For this first one, we look at it and we see we've got a 15 over here that we need to get rid of. <clears throat> now, first of all, before we get too far into this, remember when we're working with inequalities, the same rules apply in terms of if we do something on one side, we have to do it on the other side to maintain the inequality. There's one little thing that's thrown in when we're working with inequalities, and that's the fact that if we multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides of the inequality, the inequality symbol will flip. Other than that, the basic rules that we've learned in terms of solving equations all still apply. So for this first one, we're going to start by subtracting 15 from both sides. So subtract 15 here, subtract 15 here, and then we bring down what we have left. Okay, so we have negative, don't lose that negative there. <clears throat> negative 10r is less than 24 minus 15 would be 9. Okay, now we have a negative 10 with that r to get rid of it. We need to do the opposite, and in that case it's division. So we're going to divide by negative 10 on both sides <clears throat> and we're left with the negative tens are gone we're left with just r now be careful remember we divided by negative 10 on both sides so what do we have to do with the inequality symbol we need to flip it so it becomes r is greater than and then we just have a fraction there if you want you can divide it and get uh, negative 0 0.9 we could also leave it as a fraction and have negative 9 over 10 or 9 tenths either one would be just fine okay let's take a look at this next one we've got uh, another situation where let's start by getting rid of this plus 9 remember our goal in solving is to always get that variable by itself and we kinda got our work our way into that variable so we get rid of the plus 9 first by doing the opposite minus 9 both sides so bring down what we have left. We have negative b over 2, the stuff's gone, is greater than or equal to negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12. Okay, now what I can do, remember in a fraction if there's a negative, I can write it either out front on the top number or on the bottom number. I'm going to put it on the bottom number. and I'm just going to draw a little arrow there. So I'm calling this a negative 2, I'm taking it with. So I'm going to multiply by negative 2 on both sides. Okay, remember what happens when we multiply by a negative. We're left with just b here because we took that negative and put it on the 2 and got rid of it. Remember we multiplied by the negative 2 on both sides, so we need to flip our inequality. And we have negative 12 times negative 2 would be 24. So our answer is b is less than or equal to 24. Let's take a look at this next one. Okay, we again want to get our variable by itself. Let's start by getting rid of this minus 3.4. What's the opposite of minus 3.4? That'd be plus 3.4. So we're going to add 3.4 to both sides. Okay, so bring down what we have. My 1.8x is greater than 5.6 plus 3.4 gives us 9 and then we divide divide by 1.8 on both sides 9 divided by 1.8 don't uh, hesitate to grab a calculator if you need one here's one take 9 divided by 1.8 and we get 5 okay so we have x and in this case, we didn't have a negative, so remember, we're not going to flip it. Don't get in the habit where you're just flipping it all the time. So we have x is greater than 5. Now, one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is we can always take that back and check. Okay? Remember, what this means is that any number greater than 5 will work in our inequality. So if we would take, let's say, 10 and put it into our inequality, it should work and give us a true inequality. So 10, 10 times 1.8 would be 18. 18 minus 3.4 is indeed greater than 5.6.
Okay, so remember you can always check these in the same way that you check equations. Take a look at what you get out of it. Okay, this one, we've got some parentheses we need to get rid of, first of all. So we're going to distribute that 12 through. So we have 12m. Remember, we're going to multiply it by each thing there. That's inside the parentheses. So 12m, and then 12 times minus 4 would give us negative 48. Then that's less than or equal to 3m minus 3. Okay, now we've got variables on both sides, so we need to get them all to the same side of the inequality. I want to get rid of this 3m, so I'm going to subtract 3m from both sides. Subtract 3m from both sides, that gets rid of it over here. I have 12m minus 3m is 9m minus 48. Now, careful. What did we do on both sides? Okay, we subtracted. We didn't multiply or divide by a negative. Sometimes people are thrown off by this and they want to flip the inequality. In this case, we don't because we subtracted. It wasn't multiplication or division. So our inequality symbol stays the same, less than or equal to negative 3. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add 48 on both sides. Add 48. I'm going to bring it over here. So we have 9m is less than or equal to negative 3 plus 48 would give us 45. Then, finally, our last step to get that m all by itself is to divide by 9. Divide by 9. m is less than or equal to 5. All right. Now, things work the same way when we have fractions involved. Now, there's a couple ways that we can work with these fractions. These, as I look at them, we could easily convert them to decimals and work with them. Um, another thing we could do is multiply through by a common uh, factor so that we get rid of the fractions, or we could just work with the fractions after getting a common denominator. I'm going to get a common denominator just for the fun of it here. The common denominator in this case would be 4. I can convert 1 half into 2 over 4. So I'd have 2 over 4c minus 1 fourth is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths. Okay, so now I've got a common denominator I can work with. Actually, I wouldn't have had to work that hard, but we'll just roll with it here and we'll be okay. All right, so then we've got minus 1 fourth. To get rid of that, we'll add 1 fourth. Add 1 fourth. Okay, and then we have... 2 4 c, and then we've got less than or equal to negative 3 fourths plus 1 fourth. If we're 3 fourths in the whole, we're coming back up 1 fourth. That would leave us with 2 fourths. Okay, then we've got this fraction. When we have a fraction that's being multiplied by something, we can divide by that, that fraction or we can multiply by the reciprocal, which is the same thing as what we end up doing when we're, mul or when we're dividing fractions. So we're just kind of skipping right to that step. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal, by the flip. So we multiply by 4 over 2 on both sides. This stuff goes away. We're left with just c is less than or equal to. Okay, here are fractions. What's going to happen? I think you can maybe see, but we'll just multiply across top and bottom, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 8 over 8, which is just 1. So c is less than or equal to 1. All right, finally, this last one, we again want to get that variable by itself. Don't be thrown off when the variable's on the opposite side. That's okay. The same rules are still going to apply. So we want to get rid of the minus 6. We do that by the doing the opposite, plus 6, both sides. 10 plus 6 is 16, is less than negative 8x. And then we're going to divide, because this is multiplication, remember, we do the opposite. So negative 8, dividing by negative 8 on both sides. And then we have negative 2. Oh, what did we do? We divided by a negative on both sides. So we have to remember to flip our inequality, so it becomes negative 2 is greater than x. Now, most of the time when we look at inequalities, we have the variable first. So if we wanted to flip this and have it be the x first, remember, we then have to flip the inequality as well.
because in this case 2 is greater than x, well that means that x is less than negative 2. Okay, So when we flip the sides that these things are on, remember the inequality symbol must flip as well because here we have something smaller over here, well that smaller thing is now on the left side so we have to show that with our inequality symbol. Okay, solving multi-step inequalities, remember the same rules apply as solving multi-step equations. We want to get the variable by itself and just one real big thing thrown in there and that is that if we multiply or divide by a negative then we need to flip the inequality after doing so. Other than that, same rules apply. I know you can do it. I hope this was helpful.